What's going on champs and champets? It's FireMonkey here, and I know I said I wasn't going to make another YouTube video today because of the fact that we weren't really going to get too much new information. However, I forgot the fact that they actually had certain things like their trailer for Fortnite Mars 2024 already scheduled in certain situations, meaning that even though there wasn't really technically anything new to talk about, there were still some new things that actually got released past that actual date because they were originally supposed to be released with Fortnite Mars 2024, and then the delay happened last minute causing certain things that were scheduled to still end up getting publicly posted. So in today's YouTube video, I'll be recapping a lot of upcoming collaborations slash cosmetics that are set to actually release in this update. We'll also be talking about new shop tabs, a new symbiote cup, and a lot more. So let's kind of just dive into everything starting off with shop tabs. We have three new shop tabs that got added. We have Pumpkin King and Sally Bundle, which is under the Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration category, of course. Now, the original actual shop tab that gets used for Jack Skellington hasn't been added as of right now, and it's only this brand new bundle, so there is a chance we don't see Jack Skellington in the item shop tonight once everything resets and once downtime starts and instead we just see this bundle to start out with and then they end up re-releasing Jack Skellington a little bit later on down the line but of course that is something to be expecting tonight of course as you can see by the image rings control put on screen we have a back bling of Halloween Town another back bling which is like a cauldron or the frog in it and then we have two pickaxes that you'll be able to use but that isn't the only shop tab added because we have two more one being Deadpool mashups now this Deadpool mashups tab specifically mentions that it's for Ravenpool and Cuddlepool however we've had weeks before before that fish pool was set to come to the game which is like a fish stick Deadpool mashed together character so maybe that ends up releasing around this time as well for Fortnite Mares 2024 we really don't know but this is like the final update for fish pool to get added to the game and then we have a Fortnite Mares flow shop tab now with all these normal shop tabs like spooky offers Fortnite Mares flow all the type of stuff you can expect just kind of see the whole entire theme around oh Halloween time you know Fortnite Mares all the type of stuff but at the same time every single day you may see leaks here and there regarding new shop offers being added for spooky offers or whatnot and while that does sound exciting like oh new item shop tabs every single day for spookiness well the kind of way of describing it here is basically even though they add those shop tabs they have a whole new system going on in game right now where the shop tabs are based on the specific day so even though there's a brand new spooky outfits tab that gets added basically every single day it doesn't mean that a new outfit is going to be releasing every day it's just their way of figuring out which day is going to be for what rotation of outfits and everything else so just kind of keep that in mind as you pay attention to shop tabs but the main ones that have been added, of course, are the Pumpkin King and Sally Bundle, Deadpool mashups, and then, of course, Fort Nightmares Flow. They also removed the My Hero Academia shop tab, but based on how their shop tabs work, they add them basically the night before they actually go live. So this doesn't mean that it's permanently removed. You'll never be able to get the My Hero Academia cosmetics ever again. It just means that, at least for right now, they aren't set to return because they're going to be leaving the item shop for a decent amount of time. Now, next up, we're going to start talking about new cosmetics that are set to be arriving with this new game update by firstly talking about a brand new symbiote cup where you'll be able to get the she venom skin and agony skins before they hit the item shop this will be a duos battle royale building enabled tournament that will start on october 22nd where you'll have a chance to play 10 games with a friend in order to be one of the top performing players to get both of these skins before they hit the item shop two days later on october 24th now regarding these skins right here this is to promote the brand new venom movie if we actually pull it up here it's the venom uh the Last Dance movie, I know there was a whole entire on there that's not in the movie title, I promise, but this is to kind of promote that brand new movie. A lot of people have been speculating since they're going to be bringing up new cosmetics for the Venom movie to kind of hype up everything going on there, that maybe they bring up the old Venom cosmetics like Eddie Brock back into the item shop for the first time in a very, very long time. Especially since this is to promote the movies, it seems like a likely scenario, but at least as of right now, the only thing we can confirm without a doubt is that the brand new skins Agony and She Venom will be releasing in the item shop a few days or I guess a week or so after Fortnite Mars 2024 officially begins. On top of that, we have a few other collaborations. As you guys have already seen before, we have a Leatherface collaboration. We have a brand new spooky marshmallow outfit and everything else there. And kind of a lot of things going on. A brand new Halloween version of like a Black Knight outfit and, you know, the Ulta Gordian outfit and everything else. But a lot of decent cosmetics that are actually in there. However, in terms of actual collaborations, we have a lot of interesting ones. We have Edward Scissorhands, which is one that I was not expecting to ever release in Fortnite being added to the game for Fortnite Mares 2024. This is a collaboration that was not really like teased or anything in the promo art, but is coming to the game. On top of that, we have other collaborations such as the Disney villains, and uh, of course, you know, is Cruella, Captain Hook, and Maleficent. So those are things to kind of keep your eyes out for. And then on terms of other stuff, we also have new jam tracks being added. Nightmares Choice is the official jam track for Fortnite Mares 2024. If you go on Fortnite Festival before the update's actually out, you can actually play this jam track early 
in game because they have it in the currently free rotation. We also have stuff going on such as a lot of new jam tracks. There's a total of five, but only in the image right here, you're using four of them. For Fortnite Festival, that you'll be able to get by playing in Rocket Racing and completing weekly quests. So that gives you something to kind of grind out for. Of course, a lot of those music packs are going to sound pretty similar because they're going to be themed around just music you would hear while racing. But at the same time, it does mean more music packs you'll be able to add to your locker to play in Fortnite Festival just to increase your jam track category more and more every day. In terms of other stuff that you could be expecting, we also have a new car being the McLaren Senna, which is set to come to the game. It could be out of this update or it might be for a future update later down the line. Now that leak comes from uh, Sam Leaks over on Twitter. We also have leaks that a Spider Woman being Jessica Drew is set to come to Fortnite as well. That was previously leaked by Sheena BR. Now we don't know if any of those things I just mentioned, such as the McLaren or Spider Woman, are going to be coming in this update or not, but it will be jam-packed with a lot of cosmetics to kind of keep in mind as everything goes on. And of course, we already have other stuff we've already mentioned that will be coming to the game, such as um, Mephisto, which is going to have the whole offering system where you'll be able to get augments, you'll be able to get a random weapon, and reboot your entire squad by actually dealing your health to him. And then there's some little extra things here and there that are related to the actual gameplay features, and these are things such as the River Sticks, aka the Green Water, that gives you the Skull Dashes being turned red for Fort Nightmares 2024, stuff such as the actual giant statue over in the Brawler's Battleground in Mount Olympus, having a giant pumpkin on its head for the Halloween time, which I think is just pretty goofy, some little areas getting changed here and there, the train turning into a ghost train that kind of has like this green, ghastly effect on the front of the train, and a lot of little Fort Nightmares themed things to kind of get you excited for the new update. On top of that, we also have stuff like the Chainsaw Mythic, which is not going to be a pickaxe as much as I know people want a Chainsaw Pickaxe. It is not going to be one, and instead it's just going to be a mythic you'll be able to have on the island that will be added to the game for the whole entire Leatherface collaboration. We're going to be having other things going on as well, which if I can remember off the top of my head, is a brand new hideable prop, which is a scarecrow. Now, interesting thing about this hideable prop, which is similar to stuff like the porta potties or dumpsters you can hide in, is that if you're the first player to actually enter this prop, you'll be able to control the rotation of it. So when you enter the scarecrow, if you want to rotate it and turn it a specific way, you're able to actually do that and it will be stuck in that position for the rest of the game, right? So if a second person hides in that same prop, they'll kind of know that you were already in there because they weren't going to be able to actually do the whole entire rotation system, but there is a absolute lot of information and tons of stuff going on for the brand new uh, Fortnite, just kind of update for Fortnite Mars 2024. Of course, there's other things we haven't even heard too much about, like Horde Rush returning, but of course, there is just going to be a huge, massive update. Now, keep in mind, this is the final update for this season. You know, there might be a smaller one later down the line, a point forty one update or whatever else, but that isn't really too highly expected, at least not as of right now, and this is going to be all the content we have to kind of hold us over until November 2nd when Fortnite OG Chapter 2 officially launches. Now, of course, with this update, it isn't just going to be about the Halloween theme, it's also going to be about Rocket Racing Season 3. I can now confirm that Rocket Racing Season 3 will last until December 1st at 5 a.m. Eastern Time, and we already have our first glimpse at some of the upcoming free rewards you'll be able to earn. By completing weekly quests, you'll be able to earn different variants of the Mythic Fade Boost and Mythic Fade Trails, both of which actually look pretty cool by the image we see on screen right now, but also by doing ranked quests, you'll be able to actually earn different starry trails and starry boosts that have different color options and everything else, and then it appears like we still have a gold little drift smoke trail or whatever else for reaching unreal rank and actually winning a race at that rank so it's interesting to see that the whole entire gold themed version of cosmetics for being an unreal rank is going to be continuing into this new season and kind of just gets us prepared for how they're going to be handling rocket racing going forwards by having some of these really exclusive rewards being locked behind getting the highest rank in rocket racing and then completing like a hundred races winning a race tons of crazy stuff like that but with that said that's really all we have to mention here regarding the brand new Fortnite Mares update. I know some people might want to go ahead and take a glimpse of their own little like teasers and stuff here and there. So if I don't fall to my death real quickly here, I'll go ahead and put in the background right now the actual trailer for Fortnite Mares 2024. There are some things you'll notice that I haven't even mentioned, like a brand new version of like a Raymond Team Leader Sid skin that I'll be releasing as well, which is pretty interesting to actually see, but it is a pretty jam-packed update. Now tomorrow, once the update officially releases, which downtime will start at 2 a.m. Eastern time, I will be doing a showcase of all the new cosmetics and then going forwards you know we'll do whatever other leak talk topics or whatever else we have to talk about leading up to everything going on right but with that said hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's update hope you uh, actually are excited for this i mean even seeing things such as you know the grind vines returning for fortnite Mars 2024 a lot of little poi changes here and there it's got me pretty excited and there's even another skin you'll notice at the very end of this teaser unless it's already shown which is actually going to be it actually is going to show up right here on the right side a zombie version of the 
penny outfit, so a lot of stuff for basically anyone to enjoy if they're a fan of Fort Nightmares. With that said, however, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Hope you champs and champ pets enjoyed this secondary video on this channel where we recapped a lot of the information that came out today. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a showcase of absolutely everything new cosmetic-wise that got added with the update, including um, Fortnite Festival instruments, you know, Rocket Racing cars, Battle Royale emotes, Lego versions of stuff, and more. So until then, peace out.